swiping, this whole swiping mentality with dating apps, it just frustrates me because you, we're missing. You, you love Tinder and Bumble. Oh my gosh. Ugh, it's painful as a psychologist and coach to see the struggle. What do you see? Depression, anxiety, low self-esteem. Related to app dating. Yes, yes. How so? The, the ghosting that happens, the yeah. lies that happen, the false presentations. Like what, what do you mean the lies? Is that people lie about their stuff? age. They uh, lie about their appearance. Yeah. Like they'll put up photos that are 10 years old or they'll use filters. Yeah. Women more so than men will use filters. Yeah. So they don't look like themselves. So it's just you're walking into something that you think is one thing and then you show up and it's something else. And so you feel lied to before the date even began. I feel like we've all had these experiences if you've done online dating that yeah some people aren't exactly there's I would say there's two parts to it one is some people don't present themselves as accurately as they really are there's another level to it which is sometimes their pictures and everything may be accurate representations of who they are but I'll get an idea of who they are I'll be like oh and then you even before you meet them and then you're disappointed it's like you know they actually are who they are but I conjured up this thing and we do so when we look at a photo, we because I, I don't use photos in matchmaking, so this is the reason why. People are always shocked because we're so used to looking at photos for dating now. When we look at a picture, it's one-dimensional, right? There is not, you, you, what do you gather from a photo? You Right away, you get preconceived ideas based on your mm -hmm. past. People you've met, this person looks like somebody that I knew from the past that I didn't really like. It's not even conscious. So... so so you don't use photos at all? No. That makes me really nervous. The control side of me is like, I don't oh, yeah. know if I can do your service. Absolutely. If, if we're not. So somebody who worked with you then would have to trust you that somehow that process would, I suppose, I mean, what do you say to that? I suppose your pitch is like, how's Bumble working for you? Yeah, let's try something different. I mean, and it's also, I've been doing this a long time. Like you're handing over the responsibility to an expert. Like, let me, let me do my job, right?